Okay, let's see where we are. Well, of course, it's Stuttgart. This 1968 SL is truly beautiful. But of course, this way of navigation is not really up to date anymore. I am here at the Telematics Tech Day, an event where Mercedes-Benz shows the yesterday, today and tomorrow of in-vehicle infotainment and telematics. With me is Johann Jungwirth. He is the president and CEO of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development North America and works in Palo Alto, California, right in the Silicon Valley. We have actually an office in Palo Alto already since 1995. We have been the first automotive manufacturer actually to open an office there. Basically what we want is you know, to offer customers uh, to continue their digital lifestyle uh, seamlessly in the car. And since the digital lifestyle revolution happened in the Silicon Valley, all of these trends came out of there. It's very, very important for us as an automotive OEM uh, to be there on site to work with these companies, being at Apple, Facebook, Google, Yelp, Pandora, Stitcher, Slacker, and so on, and integrate all of this into our vehicles and much more to come. Outside, Johan will show me how the new command online multimedia system works. We all know it from our smartphone. We can download apps or updates and we can use them instantly, no matter where we are. Well, it was not that easy to get an update or a new function for the onboard navigation and multimedia system of your car. But now this changes. The car becomes like a smartphone and we'll show you how. Via your cell phone, the command system connects with the Daimler backend server, where weather forecasts, Google Maps, Street View or Facebook are made available for your onboard communication. Now, amongst other things, you can check out your Facebook friends locations or download Google Maps routes you have created on your home computer before. This information, it being in the cloud, is always up to date. And secondly, uh, by using you know, crowdsourcing as Google does, anybody can actually add points of interest, can uh, change the location if the address has changed, can delete location if the points of interest is no longer there. But Mercedes-Benz research goes beyond that. The aim is to use the phone not only as a connection device. The iPhone interface integrates contents and apps of your mobile device directly into the onboard communication system readily available for you on the car screen. So basically what you are used to from your smartphone, you have instantly in your car and uh, the same with your Facebook and Twitter accounts. You just log in with the same uh, account information as you would do uh, in your smartphone. Imagine the vast variety of apps you could use in your car, but they are made for smartphones, not for cars. And this means icons or letters could be too small to read them properly while driving. Of course, this would be a problem, not only in a car with the performance of this here. This is why all the apps for Command Online or for smartphone solutions are developed by Mercedes-Benz to meet all the guidelines to minimize driver's distraction. But soon Mercedes-Benz will also offer a framework for Android that easily adapts third-party Android apps to the onboard communication system. Thank you for watching this episode of MB Reporter. It's time to say bye-bye. It's time to say thank you to Johann Jungwirth from Palo Alto. And it's definitely time to say farewell to the nostalgia of paper maps. But despite all the useful technology in here, I can still wear my fancy goggles and my cap. See you on the road. Bye.